U.S. student loan debt is at $1.5 trillion. If you're among the some 44 million Americans carrying that debt, then how do you pay for it and save for the future? Abbott, a healthcare company, may have the answer. In a first-of-its-kind measure, the company recently launched a benefits package that allows its employees to pay off their student loans and save for retirement. In this case, Freedom to Save is a great example of, of us thinking about what are the issues that our employees are grappling with and how can we come up with an innovative way to address them. Here's how it works. If employees enrolled in the Freedom to Save program contribute at least 2% of their income to paying off their student debt, then the company will contribute an amount equivalent of 5% of their income into their respective 401k plans. So, say you make $50,000 per year and contribute 1,000 of that to paying off your student loans. That means you'll get $2,500 in pre-tax retirement money. David Guan enrolled in the program after accruing more than $100,000 in student debt. He says the benefit will allow him to pay off his loans faster with less interest. It you know, helps me at least think about the future as opposed to really looking back at, at past debts, so to speak. In recent years, a small but growing number of companies like Staples and Fidelity have begun offering student loan repayment benefits to their employees. But it was Abbott's Freedom to Save program that took it one step further by allowing you to save too. For Paige Jones, the joint 401k and student loan repayment benefit shows how companies are evolving to meet the needs of a new generation. And so being able to pay off those loans as fast as I can, pay as little interest as possible, is really something that's going to just kind of change the way that I view my budget and honestly the way that I'm able to kind of live my life as a young adult and then moving forward. After Abbott's program launched in August, it immediately sparked interest among other companies. It's very likely that as we continue to see student loan debt increase, that this will become the new wave.